It's day two at COP28 in Dubai, and the calls for urgent action continue. We cannot save a burning planet via fire holes of fossil fuels. We must accelerate a just, equitable transition to renewables. The science is clear. The 1.5 degree limit is only possible if we ultimately stop burning all fossil fuels. Fossil fuels normally get the most attention at the annual climate summit. But on Friday, there was a breakthrough on another crucial part of tackling climate change, what we eat. More than 130 countries, including the US, EU, Brazil and China, have signed an agreement aiming to make food production more sustainable. It's the first agreement of its kind and could be a very important one. The world's food system is responsible for one third of greenhouse gas emissions and 15 per cent of fossil fuel. With huge amounts of food wasted in some countries, as well as overconsumption of industrial produced meat and processed foods. For many campaigners, small scale farmers in local communities are a key part of the solution. We are excited on how this can be translated into real actions on the ground, at the village level, at the country level. I think we think that uh, the improvement will come when governments partner with family farmers, organizations, associations, and cooperatives to th that uh, we are part of the decision making, we are part of the implementation of the climate action projects. Small scale farmers produce a third of the world's food, but they only receive 0.3% of international climate finance. The hope is that more money will go directly to them, as the international community has pledged $2.5 billion of investment in sustainable farming.